All right, guys, unboxing time. Uh, oddly enough, we have a metal casted plane that came as a display with this ball watch. One of the largest watch box displays that I've ever had on the show. Too big to actually show. It's like just, it's ginormous. So figured I'd put it here as a little prop, but we're going to dig into this. We can check out the ball real quick. Big thanks to Nick and Evan and the crew over at Exquisite. I was just down there visiting with those guys. Awesome, awesome operation they have going there. And as many watches as you think they might have, double or triple it, guys. They have an insane amount of watches. All the brands you can think of, they have them all. And they um, they have them new, used, whatever. So I'll put a link down below in the description. Tell them I sent you. It'll be direct contact information to Nick. But you can talk to whoever you want over there. So this one's a little bit larger diameter. So for the people that like the larger watches or just have a larger wrist and the larger watch is demanded for the wrist space, then this one could work really good for you. These are kind of sharp feeling. I don't know if that's going to be a problem on wrist. Oddly, those are kind of sharp feeling. Um, but this is a manual wind ball. This is the first time I've handled a manual wind ball watch, which is... 80 year anniversary, so probably appropriate because Ball Watch used to do manual wind like pocket watches. So pretty cool. Very cool, actually. Um, I'm sure they're taking some of that as a reference. Let's get into the two watch roll here. Exquisite timepieces. These are awesome. You can get those there as well. Probably when you buy something. Okay, we have another Ball Watch here. This is that rainbow kind of looking one. I don't think I've had this on the show, but um, you know what? It's, this is like a really nice size. Love the pop of color. I'll get this thing wrapped, unwrapped when I do the full video. Yeah, this one is just fun. It is really cool. What's the price tag on this thing? $24.50. Not bad. Can't wait to do the video on that. Man, that one's really cool. And lastly, we have a Seiko Passage. So this is where a lot of these Seikos, more entry-level ones even, offer up one heck of a dial. Kind of making you wonder if you should even go to the higher end stuff or this could be a good stepping stone to get there. Beautiful crystal on this, very easy to read. Kind of a snowflake looking dial, really thin, automatic movement metal bracelet, and best of all, well, not best of all. I was expecting a little bit lower price, to be honest with you. $2,200 for this presage. This is uh, obviously a higher-end one. What is the movement? Ah, it's an 8L35. That's why. I didn't know anything about this model. That makes sense. 8L35 is like kind of like a Grand Seiko-type movement, so... I mean, you're flirting with the, the gray area in between the high-end Seiko and the Grand Seiko, I think is what you're flirting with when you deal with these particular models. So you're getting near Grand Seiko level finishing and dial and movement, but at like half the price of what a Grand Seiko is. So this one's like $2,200. Most Grand Seikos are much more than that. So it is a nice watch. I look forward to doing the video on that one. That's not the style of watch that I typically go with. Actually, all three of these really aren't the style of watch that I would typically gravitate towards. Maybe that rainbow ball. I don't know that I would do it on bracelet. I'd be interested in seeing that on some straps or something. But full video soon, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.